exciting relationship factor born in them, filling them, the DNA of the Father filling them and releasing them and drawing them back to him, that they said, let's get together. And they couldn't wait. So that was every single day of the week. Every day. And they devoted themselves to apostles' doctrines who did not read out of Paul's gospel to the Galatians. He didn't read 1 Peter chapter 1 verse, uh, chapter 2 verse 1. <laughs> They were constantly speaking out of the revelation which was understood and laid in the foundations of the Old Testament, the New Testament hidden in the Old, extracted through Christ and came to light and revelation by the Spirit. It says the Spirit of God released them to revelation, to understand and to see. And uh, we, praise God, now have the written copy of the revelations written down. But even Paul had continuing revelation. If you read Ephesians about certain aspects of the glory of God and the things that he talked about, there you see in Colossians even an amplified, increasing uh, revelation of it, pouring forth. How much more did it pour out? It, it's just that what I want to say today is that the, the New Testament church lived in the place of drinking pure spiritual milk. They lived there. And the Word of God is so... We've got this today. You know, I need a new uh, Bible because I've written so much in here and the ink's blotted and it's come through other pages and I can't even read some of the stuff that's on here. That big blotted section there comes from the other side of the page. And I, and I make notes all over. I write between the lines. In my Bible, you've got to read between the lines. I tell you. Because I can write that small. I can write in there. And I need a new one. I went on the, inter, uh, on the um, internet yesterday looking up uh, Bibles and stuff. Joan, help me. I came to one, I think it was a Kurong or Word or somebody. I was looking for a new Bible, a study Bible. There were 1,837 1837, we are inundated with Bibles for men, for women, for women, for men, men and women, married women, married, unmarried women, anybody's women, and, and, and men's Bibles and, and camouflage Bibles and metal Bibles and, um, you know, flak jacket Bibles. I don't know, but there, there's Bibles for everything. There's Bibles all over that's coming out of our ears. And you know what? With all of our study, I've got Reference books, this that fit on my bookshelf that long, 10 copies, 10 volumes. I've got uh, other stuff. What's that? Now it's on a disc. Oh, it's on a disc. <laughs> <Yeah>. uh, um, <laughs> oh, you mucked me up. <laughs> and, you know, with all of our theological referencing and Bible referencing and study materials and heaps of Bibles that you can use and 10,000 different versions, from Joyce Meyer to Benny Hinn to everybody else's, um, John Maxwell, good grief. <laughs> we still don't have what the New Testament church had with none of it. With none of it. And what am I saying to you? Am I rubbishing this? No way. Thank God for the added blessing by the grace of God giving into our hands the option to read and to learn and inwardly digest the word of God and receive the scriptures and the, script, the spirit of God moving on it to teach us. No way am I devaluing that. That's, how would I be here today if I hadn't had that myself? What I want to encourage us is that, that, that getting back into that place where we're drinking from God. And, and um, oh, I don't know, I'm all over the shop here. I'll never get through this whole message as usual. I should have about six weeks. But, you know, in Kyogle, I used to preach a message that would go for six weeks and then it'd go to ten weeks sometimes. I think I better change this subject. It's just getting out of control because it kept enlarging and enlarging and more and more and do all these series I've got on my computer, all the series of messages that Joan wonderfully typed out for me and put in there. But, you know, the name El Shaddai, I, I'll just go there. That's a good start. That's another good start. We'll go there anyway. Uh, Genesis 17, look. When God appeared to Abraham, Abram at the time, <coughs> he was in that time and the promise came to him a second time about what he was going to do, make him the father of many nations. It was when the, God had allowed the time span to go where it was impossible for Abram himself and Sarah to have a child. And sometimes God allows us to come to the place of, 
of where, where we aren't able to do anything in ourselves. He tried in the flesh to bring forth the promise of God and only caused great trouble, which is now in the earth. It's in the earth war between nations because of man's choice to go and do what God promised in man's strength. And God had to allow him to go to the place where he's unable. The, the deadness of Sarah's womb was to the point where she's never going to have a child and Abram, Abram was too, too old. And he comes and he says in verse, um, what do we got here? One and two. When Abram was 99 years old, the Lord appeared to him and said, I am God Almighty, walk before me. And be blameless. I will confirm my covenant between you and me and will greatly increase your numbers. Verse 17, is it? Abram fell face down and laughed. uh, And he said, will a son be born to a man a hundred years old? Will Sarah now bear a child at the age of 90? Now, the point about this was they were in this place where they were unable There was no hope for them. And God appears to them and said, I'm God Almighty. What he says is, I am El Shaddai. I am El Shaddai. And we hear and we can read the all-sufficient one, the Lord God Almighty, all-powerful. That statement, Almighty, reveals the, the truth. But El Shaddai, El meaning God Almighty, And Shaddai is is a derivation of different words, but the heart of it is the breasted one. The breasted one. The one from whom you drink pure spiritual milk. Like pure, like newborn babes. The word Shaddai uh, brings out that revelation and understanding. And we mentioned it on Mother's Day quickly that the fact that the factor that God created woman out of who he was. And the physical form and shape of male and female is only a physical manifestation interpreting the spiritual nature and purpose of God. So you don't look at the natural and then look back and try and see God. But even the, even the, uh, the Greeks and the Egyptians had depicted goddesses with breast, many breasts. And what they were saying was that we see this goddess Isis and in uh, Ephesus was the Diana or what was the other name? Diana or um, Artemis. Artemis. And they were depicted that way because they were seen in their gods, in their religion, as the supplier and the nourishers of, of the earth to cause the earth to bring forth its fruit and the rain to fall, and the sun to shine, and every factor that nourished the earth and allowed the earth to bring forth. A garden that was well plowed and fertilized and so on would would be the ground for bringing forth the, the fruit. It was going to be the nourisher. And so here we see this amazing thing, and Abram and and Sarah in the point where they needed a supernatural nourishment from God. They needed to drink from his supply that would comp, comp- uh, what is the word? Uh, not compromise, um, compensate for the state of their condition. God wanted to pour out of himself. And I think this is a fascinating thing because Genesis 49, also it was in the blessings that were um, said on Joseph, on Jacob and others. Uh, 49, Genesis 49. 24 and 25, it says there, but uh, this is the blessing on Joseph. Great study, this, um, this uh, pronouncement of blessing on Joseph. It's absolutely mar- marvelous. I had about six or seven, eight messages out of this. But his bow remained steady, his arms strong stayed limber because of the hand of mi- the mighty one of Jacob, because of the shepherd, the rock of Israel, because of our, your father's God who helps you, because of the almighty Shaddai who blesses you with blessings from heaven above, blessings from the deep that lie below, blessings of the breast and the womb. It's included as a, a symbol of the outpouring of God when, the, when there's many children and the children are nurtured uh, through the breast of the womb. Isaiah 60, 